Welcome to Americana Archives. Today's head-on is saved by an unspoken sermon. It says, How a sermon did good, though it was not preached, is told by the Baltimore Herald. The sermon was written by the Rev. D.B. Gregg, and the subject of it, the unemployed masses, was announced in the usual course in the Saturday papers. One of the papers sent a reporter to Mr. Gregg's house and secured a copy, or perhaps an abstract, of the sermon and put it in type for the Monday issue. At that time, evangelistic services were being conducted throughout the city, and the committee in charge of them sent several speakers to address Mr. Gregg's Sunday evening congregation. He at once gave way to the evangelist, and the sermon he had prepared was not preached, but was laid aside for another occasion. The next morning, however, the daily papers contained a long report of the sermon, which was as yet undelivered. On that particular Monday morning, there was in Baltimore a homeless and penniless young Scotchman. Every hour his prospects had seemed to grow darker, and finally desperation crushed out what little hope had been left in his heart. He determined on suicide. With his last few pennies, he purchased poison enough to end all, and was leaving the drugstore when his eyes fell on a newspaper. Probably the glance would have been but a passing one if he had not noticed the headline, To the Unemployed Masses. This phrase struck a responsive chord, and he read the abstract of Mr. Gregg's discourse. Then it occurred to him that a minister who preached such a sermon might be interested in his case. The better man in him rose, and he made up his mind to search out the preacher, if only as a last resort. Securing Mr. Gregg's address, he went to the house and was received with a heartiness that changed desperation into hope. The preacher himself was a Scotchman and listened with interest to the discouraged man's story. What was more, he promised help. He communicated with the Scotch societies of the city, and many hands were extended to the young stranger in distress. He was given temporary aid and finally a position, which he is now worthily filling. And this was the result of a sermon never preached. This story came from the great state of Wyoming, being reported in the Boomerang of February 16, 1898. Thank you for joining us today. If you want to continue to uncover all of America's lost and forgotten history, then remember before you leave to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and remember to like and comment below. And we will see you next time on Americana Archives.